Good evening. Uh, this is my 60th tutorial, and I'm going to be doing experiments with uh, modifiers. Um, I'll be using filter envelope 1 and envelope 3 for this demonstration. Um, we start up with a knit patch, which is just an 8 foot sawtooth. But anyhow, we won't be using that. Well, let me set up the pulse width. So, let's start by putting release on amplitude, say about 64. I will be using envelope 3 for pulse width control, setting it to advanced ADSR, tack level of 0, decay of 48, sustain all the way up to 127, sustain 2 of 0, and the K of 92. I will then go to oscillator 1, set it to uh, pulse width. Ooh, missed it. Right there, set it to 0. Set the pulse width modulation to envelope 3, and the amount to 56. That's step one. Now I'm going to add in detune. I'm going to use an undefined modifier. I'm going to set modifier one is mapped to modifier one XOR. LFO 1, set LFO 1 to 5. And then on slot 1, which we'll, we'll see become apparent later, why I'm using slot 1, because I usually start on uh, 9. I want to add some detune. Now watch what this does. Yeah, well that's way over the top, but at about 12, we'll be fine. So now to get to the step two, which is the filter envelope. Remember how I set it to advance ADSR for the envelope three? I do the same here. Attack level of zero, decay of 48, and sustain. 127, and I want the release to match envelope 3. It will become apparent later. So, we're going to set up filter 1. Key tra track of 100%, let's say about 42 for resonance. Type is uh, low pass 24 dB take FC down to zero, and set the amount to about 48. That's part two. Let's stereotize it. So we go to oscillator common page. Set unisono to 3. I do not have to detune it because the detune is done with that modifier I wrote, as you will hear. Let's hear its effect. Now, this should work on the Q as well. But obviously the uh, mod matrix is slightly different. Okay. Now I'm going to set up an opposing. Now note that my balance for my uh, pulse wave is going to filter one. Well, I'm going to set up an opposing uh, filter as well as a modifier to uh, morph between the two. So let's go band pass 24 dB. Let's go. Uh, key track of a mi minus 100%. Bring this down to about mm, 71. 
there won't be any um, amount. Uh, let's leave that to zero as it is. Okay, for the modifier too. I'm going to say envelope three minus filter envelope. Now you're not going to hear anything right now. We go back to my mod matrix. Actually, let's add in the uh, the item here. Pressure on mod slot five. Pressure controls M1 amount. And hold the keys down. So there's the aftertouch. Now we get back to here. Well, my first open slot is nine. I'm going to say modifier um, two controls O1 balance. I believe it's negative. So it's morphing between the two. I need some uh, resonance there so you can hear. Oh yes, um, one thing I've forgotten. I have it in mono right now, pan source. It's unisono V, negative 64 for that one. A pan source for filter two is unisono V, but opposing. There's my stereo. So, um, the way this is working, let's look at envelope three. So it's being subtracted. So that 48 is identical. So on, on the filter envelope, first part there's no subtraction however when it gets to this point it starts subtracting and it goes down to zero so it actually goes to negative one you'd have to graph out the map but trust me it is working it's doing it's taking the first part of, of envelope three which is the same as the filter envelope the um, so-called attack portion which is really the K acting as an attack and that's not being subtracted because they're identical however once it hits this portion that's when it's used for balance, and that's why it works. But anyhow, let's uh, use that undefined modifier for some other purposes. I'm going to say modifier 1 controls filter envelope decay. Let's say about mm, 38. And then say modifier 1. Controls, envelope three, decay, plus 38. So I'll get the uncertainty modifier acting here. Also, on filter two, let's go back and reset that. I'm going to apply this to envelope three. adds a bit more movement to it. Now what if I was to add modifier 2, you're asking? It would be very similar, but...
Hopefully you can hear that stereo. I can hear it through my headphones. This is direct to the camera. So that's giving you a, a quick demonstration of what you can do using the um, modifier, which is a modifier 2, which is envelope 3 minus filter envelope. Now here's a finished patch. It's called Hooked on Phonics. Same concept. Whoa! Okay, I had my mod wheel right in the middle. There's the aftertouch. It sounds like not enough bass, so I'm going to do a little compensation for that. On the ampli amplifier, the VCA, whatever you want to call it, digital control of, of amplitude. I'm going to say key track. Find it. And go minus 52, which is going to benefit the bass and cut the treble. <laughs> I've got it cut all the way. Anyhow, that was my 60th tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and have a good evening. Time to put it on YouTube.